The topic of this video is testing for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and origin. Specifically, we'll be looking at testing equations for symmetry. Tests for symmetry. To test the graph of an equation for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, replace y by negative y in the equation and simplify. If an equivalent equation results, the graph of the equation is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. If not, then it isn't. To test the graph of an equation for symmetry with respect to the y-axis, replace x by negative x in the equation and simplify. If an equivalent equation results, the graph of the equation is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. If not, then it isn't. To test the graph of an equation for symmetry with respect to the origin, replace x by negative x and y by negative y in the equation and simplify. If an equivalent equation results, the graph of the equation is symmetric with respect to the origin. Now, that's a lot of words. Let's see if we can come up with a pattern that will help us connect this skill with our previously learned skills. In a previous video, we discovered that when a graph has x symmetry, the y coordinate changes to its opposite. For y symmetry, the x coordinate changes to its opposite. And for origin symmetry, both coordinates change to their opposites. This pattern is consistent with these tests for symmetry. Look, x, y changes to its opposite. y, x changes to its opposite. Origin, both change to their opposites. So with just that one pattern, and then the following process, we can quickly and easily test equations for symmetry. So start with an equation, make an appropriate replacement, simplify, and then compare to the equation you started with. If the starting equation and the simplified equation at the end match, then the type of symmetry you are testing for is there. If they do not match, then the type of symmetry you are testing for is not there. When we solve equations, when we solve problems of this type involving equations, we're going to use a process that is described here in this blue box. I will call this SERS, C-E-R-S. In math, to replace something with something else can be tricky. To avoid making a mistake, remember SERS whenever you replace. SERS is an acronym. Each letter stands for a word. C for copy, E for erase, R for replace, S for simplify. We will use SERS when we solve problems of this type. 